Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today I have a item of choice that I found at a Savers nearby. So, uh, here it is. It is an old RCA VHS camcorder, and uh, here I have the case with everything that came with it. Now, I don't have everything that would have come with it from the factory, but I have the stuff that you need for it to work properly. So, uh, let's look at it. And, um, now I have a more upward angle of it. So, let's, um, get into it. So you put these clips on the front, clip them off, and now we are in. So, uh, First thing is we have the batteries. Now, one of these batteries uh, doesn't work, um, which is sad, but we have to deal with these things in life. So, and next, I'm gonna have to move the camera to get this little plastic thingamabob off, which is cracked and warped from years of use, most likely. And, uh, this is the RF modulator. It's just your generic RF modulator, which we'll look at a bit more in detail later. With the weird clip and all. So, we'll set that over there. And here is the battery charger with, uh, its numbers and stuff. And uh, we'll also look at that a bit later in more detail. Um, so I'll move that back so I can get the camera out. There it is. It's uh, really hefty, and underneath it sits a VHS, which is a just a generic Kodak VHS because that's what I had lying around. So, uh, let's move all this stuff and get it in a better position to talk a bit more about it. So, um, we'll move the camera and let's look at the batteries first. So, they're also quite hefty with the information and everything. And, uh, in the little clips are the contacts to contact the camera contacts so you can use it. And there's this metal plate on the front. Uh, to contact with the charger because that uses a different negative for whatever reason. This is the dead battery, sadly, which just is going to sit around unless anyone knows how to repair one of these. But if not, um, we'll, we'll I'll leave that as is. Um... So, let's move those into, a uh, better position. Uh, stacking them on top seems more space saving. Um, so this is the charger and multi-use power brick. So that also has a, a contact underneath the one clip and the metal thing. Uh, it has this which I'll talk a bit about in just a few seconds here. Um, there's information, a power and charge indicator lamp. And here's the other side. Now, that piece of plastic goes to that other one so that you can't charge the battery and use the camera at the same time, thus overloading it. There's uh, more information on there. And it also has little contacts because, you know, to go in the camera. Um, so, oh yeah. Um, and we have this little DC barrel. Things. So if you have a, a harness cable, so just a barrel-to-barrel -barrel jack, you can plug it into the back of the camera directly like that. Um, here's our generic little R uh, RF switch box with the little plugs and a little slider. Uh, there's information and a screw. I will not be opening this anytime soon because it works. And um, there's a halfway decent cable and... There's the very strange plug. Um, don't know why they went with that shape, but let it slide. Um, just my generic VHS tape. Uh, there's truly nothing special about that other than the fact that I've used a bit of it. 
and that the box on the edges is curving in, so it causes me so much trouble whenever I try to put the VHS back in. Okay, and now I'm dinking around with it off camera. Okay, we're, are we back? Yes, we're back, so I'm just going to shove all that over so I can get the camera here. So we have the viewfinder there, first of all, with a mic missing its little fluffy bit. And now I will proceed to show you every button I know that exists on this camera, because that's something I do. So, um, down there we have the zoom and... What's the word? Unzoom. We're just going to say unzoom for now. Um, there's the lens and the lens cap with the zoom and focus, and it has autofocus, of course, because 90s. Um, shutter button, auto iris, fade, color, um, manual or auto. Then we have all these little buttons on the side because we need a million buttons on our devices and a self-timer, of course, with all the clock settings and everything because millions of buttons. Hoorah! There's that little plug for the barrel and a CR2025 battery compartment, the strange video plug, as well as the barrel hookup or whatnot and this, that, and little battery holder so your battery doesn't go flying. Up here we have the power button, the camera or playback, the eject, then all these little buttons that are required for the playback because some people's first camera was their first VCR as well because, yes. Now underneath it we have, to adjust, we have a microphone mix, I don't know what that does, speaker and AVN for cables that I don't have. Raw. There's our little record button, last button I could find. Um, and then our VHS door with a window in it. Hurrah, windows. Awesome. And then there's the battery, and I'm just going to show you what that should look like on there. And let's cut to it with the, whatchamacallit, RF modulator with its hefty self. And now let's spin this around, and it ejects whether you have it turned on or off, which is <laughs> nice. Um, here's what it would look like putting a VHS tape inside of it. And we're gonna shut the VHS door. Just to proceed to click eject once more. And it just pops out like that, nice and simple. As I try to grab the VHS tape, grab it out and shut it. And here's what the RF modulator would look like if I were to plug it in. Uh, just click it in like that. And, uh, yeah, it just sticks out, so if you were to get the right cables, you could use that properly. So, um, that's everything that I have with this camera, other than the manual, but I'm not gonna grab the manual out right now. Um, I believe that's it for this right now, and I'll proceed to showing you some video that I've recorded onto it. So, here's some video I recorded walking outside. And, um, I hope you can hear the audio, well, halfway decently. As I run across the street trying not to get hit by a car. Now, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but... Um, there's a lot of dropouts in the film, but whenever it drops out, it's not like your normal VHS dropout where everything cuts out video and audio. It's either your audio is dropping out or your video has dropped out for a second, which indicates to me there's an issue with the heads on the camcorder rather than the tape's bad, which is a good sign. Now that's me zooming in on the park. And uh, let's try to find some other bit footage that's not outside. Now here's an artifact of recording over a used tape already, but I find this funny. So Mario jumps through and it cuts to me playing the keyboard. Now here's some video I took of my cat. 
Um, so this is inside a room that isn't lit at all. This is just all sunlight. So, um, the room looks reasonably, reasonably lit, but it's a lot better lit when you're actually in the room, so. Um, but that's older cameras for you. The exposure is a bit lower. But it did a pretty good job at capturing the brightness in the room. It's like, it's good, and then it just hits the wall where it's like, no, it can't be used anymore. So, let's see. And here's some video in a more well-lit environment called the bathroom. And I decided to zoom in on our transparent bar of soap. So fancy. I did that. Yeah, that's pretty much for a video review of this. Bye now.